What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another NASCAR diecast review. Today we're going to be reviewing this Kyle Larson Next Gen 2022 race winner from Homestead, Miami. Now the thing is about this car, I just got this, uh, was it last week? And it came from uh, Hendrix.com. Now, I didn't even know that I remembered I ordered this car. This was ordered last October of 2022. That's when I pre-ordered it. And I just, like I said, just came about a week ago. And I got this notification saying that your diecast is, you know, this car, Kyle Larson, Vodka Homestead winner, is uh, ready being, has been processed and ready to be shipped. I'm thinking, what? I don't even remember ordering that car. And I'm thinking, maybe it was like a scam. Maybe there's somebody just, you know, maybe somebody else ordered the car and then somehow they sent it, they're sending it to me. Like, uh, I think I probably already got that one. So, to make a long story short, I went back and looked onto my credit card information online and it appeared that I did order this car back in October is when I pre-ordered it. I'm thinking, it's been a year? I mean, I've already paid for it back then and they're just now, just now, a week ago, sending it to me. I mean, I didn't think it'd take a, a year before they got this car made. It seems when you, you know when you pre-order cars like for the following year, usually about within four months, four or five months you get them, but not a year. I don't know. Maybe they got this car lost and they couldn't figure out where it went. I don't know. But anyhow, it, it came and I wasn't sure if I did order it, so I did. And anyhow, I got it. So we're gonna open this up and uh, show you what I got. Let's get this one. Uh, yeah, go this way. Take that out. I hate the way they package these cars these nowadays, especially from last year. I wish they just go back to the old style that they had them. It's been a lot better. They kind of make them so difficult, I guess. <clears throat> I wish they go back like they did in the older ones, older days, 20 years ago. They might have screwed this one back together too. I think I did. So I'm gonna unscrew it real quick. And uh yeah. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna unscrew it real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. So I got the base off. And like I said before, I mean I like these cars, I really like them a lot. <clears throat> but I know that even the real cars they have them, so you can't really see underneath anything. Can't see the engine and all that kind of stuff because it's all aerodynamics and stuff these days which is cool but that's one thing I don't like about the newer kind of cars rather than the older ones but yeah out of uh, I think there's a 672 and I don't know if you can see it but this is number 160 which it's a low number but it's not like super super low it's not, it's not like it's number two or number three <clears throat> but the roof flaps Come open, both of them. So that's pretty cool. For some odd reason, it's his second. This has got to be his like second or third win because I know he won twice last year. Um, I think he went ran. He won California and he won at Watkins Glen. And I don't really remember him winning at Homestead, Miami. So I, this must have been like later on or something. I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know. It's kind of funny. So it's got the NASCAR Cup Series sticker there. Valvoline. The original motor oil. And of course it's got all the uh, confetti on the front of it. Got a little bit of a uh, Rubbing there, or maybe hitting the side of the wall. I still kind of wish, uh, even if this is, this is a race version, but I still wish they had, like the non-race version would have stickers on the tires, but they don't. But they got the nice uh, rims on there. 
Okay, like it's like it says RS, so it means the right side tire. And over here it says RS, another right side. <clears throat> I never noticed that before. And of course, look at that one. It says LS, left side. And then again right there, it says left side. So that's something kind of new. I never really noticed that on these tires. But it's kind of different. But yeah, it's a nice car. It's pretty cool that I forgot. It's pretty cool that I forgot about this car we even ordered. I had like I said, I had to go back into my uh, credit card information and stuff like that, online banking, and look. And sure enough, that I did pre-ordered it and paid for it back in October of 2022. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, it's kind of funny. But oh uh, yeah, there you have it. And uh, you know, like I said. If you guys were able to get this car or not, it's a great car. I have no problems with it. Still like the race uh, versions. Um, with Kyle Larson, I never, uh, I don't even get his raced win version cars. I don't get like every single car that he's raced, whether he won or not. Because <clears throat> most of them are pretty much the same sponsor and everything like that. But, you know, unless he won every single race, then I, you know, would probably do something like that. But, uh, Otherwise, the only ones I ever get ordered from Lionel is just the race version ones. So, but I want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment down below if you can. Be safe out there. Happy hunting, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.